Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, Robin Hood Earnings, ticker symbol H-O-O-D. Tomorrow night, we're going to cover it live. That's uh, Wednesday, August the 2nd, live on my show. We're going to cover it live and we're going to hear from uh, CEO uh, Vlad Tenef and the team. I'm going to give you in this video the prediction of where I see the stock going short term, long term, and what I see coming out of the earnings. So if you uh, want to uh, hear some good news I've got today about Vir about Virgin Galactic, we were just talking about that live a few moments ago. If you want to hear about Robin Hood, and I've got some interesting news for you, some breaking news that just happened the last couple of hours, and where I see the price going, then you are in the right place. You have clicked the right video. Okay, so let's have a look at it. So this is Robin Hood right now. Let me share with you uh, my position so you can see exactly what uh, skin in the game I have got uh, so you can see that uh, everything is uh, as it is. Right, first of all, I've got $2,000 worth here. It's uh, in my main account, 4.92% of my main account. That's quite bullish, right? My Roth IRA, I go a bit silly, my Roth IRA, I've got 3,370, and it's 19, nearly 20% of my portfolio. No one could be more bullish on Robinhood than me, right? I'm currently up 44%, uh, and the other account is about the same. Now then, it's earnings tonight. Why is this important? What's going on? I'm going to share it with you now, and why should you know what's about this? First of all, I've got some news I'm going to share in a second. First of all, expectations is off the charts. These are the expectations. Now, you need to understand the expectations is not set by Robin Hood. Robin Hood had nothing to do with the expectations. It was set by the analysts, Wall Street. Wall Street think they're going to do great. This was a big drop. Why is that bad? No, it's the first quarter that can happen to most brokerages because of tax harvesting and the investments that, Virgin, that uh, Robinhood were making. So really, it's only up slightly if we discount this. But however, it, look, it looks good from the point of view of retail investors, right? They go, hey, hang on a minute, down here one month, next quarter up here, looks good. If we beat on tonight, if we beat, it means for the first time, as I'm expecting, Robin Hood will be profitable. Fantastic. Very, very good. Is that likely to happen? I'm going to share with you my views, where I see the price going and whether I, whether I feel it is um, likely to happen. So there's my positions. There's the expectations. Let's look at the news and what came in just a short while ago. And then I'll tell you exactly what I think. So if you want to vote on our poll on Twitter, click above my head and that will take you to the poll and leave me your, uh, your vote and your thoughts of where you see the earnings going tonight. This was a, uh, a tweet I put out on my Twitter account, which I'll give you the link to in a minute and you can go and vote on it. Will Robin Hood outperform expectations this quarter? We've only had two votes. Just put it out two days ago. It wasn't just out two days ago and just no one cares. <laughs> that was Elon Musk. He'd have had a million votes by now. And uh, as you can see, it's had uh, two votes and 100% say, yes, I can't vote on it. Even though, what would I vote? Well, I'll share with you in a moment. Go and vote on that and leave me your thoughts. I'll give you the link for that in a second. But this is the information that you need. This is what... Uh, stirs my imagination for Virgin Galactic. Sorry, I keep saying that. Uh, Robin Hood. Let me share with you. Let me put, put a bit of information here. This came out just a few hours ago, and uh, this tells you a lot. Someone with a lot of money to spend has taken a bullish stance on Robin Hood markets, and retail traders should know. We noticed today when this big position showed up on a publicly available options history that we track here at Benziga. Whether this is an institution or just a wealthy individual, we don't know. But when something this big happens with Hood, it often means somebody knows something is about to happen. I know something that's about to happen. I'm going to tell you about it in a minute. So how do we know what this whale just did? 
Today, Benziga Options Scanner spotted 11 uncommon options trades for Robinhood markets. This isn't normal. The overall sentiment of these big money traders is split between 72% bullish and 27% bearish. Out of all the special options we uncovered, three are puts for a total amount of 205,620 and eight are calls for a total amount of 374,364. What's the price target? Taking into account the volume and open interest on these contracts, it appears that the whales have been targeting a price range from $11 to $80. Now, remember, I have said, should I give you my prediction or should I make you wait just another minute? Ah, $11 to $80 for Robinhood markets over the last three months. I'll tell you in a second. You've got to earn it. Have you liked the video yet? you got to earn it. Why should I give it for free? I mean, I'm making the video. No one pays me to make the video, right? Looking at the volume and open interest is a powerful move while trading options. This data can help you track the liquidity and interest for Robinhood Markets options for a given strike price. Below, we can observe the evolution of the volume and the open interest of calls and puts. Respectively, for all of Robinhood Markets, whales trades within a strike price range from $11 to $80 in the last 30 days. Where is Robinhood Markets standing right now? With a volume of 7,855,696, uh, the price of Hood is up 0.55 at 1280. RSI indicators hint that the underlying stock may be overbought. Next earnings are expected to be released in two days, which of course is tomorrow night. Well, I have said for the longest time that Kathy Wood has said that this is a six to 10x. I have put a target of four to six. She does like to exaggerate. However, that all makes sense to me. And we could see a massive pump and it could come tonight. The news that I think is going to come tonight, let me first of all, I just, I'm teasing you and I, what the experts say on Robin Hood. JMP Securities downgraded its action to market outperform with a price target of $25. That's double where we are now. So there's a there's a, 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 a double straight away. Piper Sandler has decided to maintain their neutral rating on Robinhood Markets, which currently sits a target of $11. Barclays has decided to maintain their overweight rating of Robinhood Markets, which currently sets a price target of $10. Goldman Sachs has decided to maintain their neutral rating of Robinhood, which currently sits at a price of 10. Morgan Stanley has decided to maintain their equal weight rating on Robinhood markets, which currently sits at a price target of 13. Okay. There you go. Now, I actually see this tonight and what the news is most likely to be. See if you agree with me. Tonight, I think we're going to get two announcements. First of all, I anticipate we are going to get the information about Robin Hood coming to the UK, which for me personally is very exciting because half of my audience is in the UK and they're all going to click my referral and they're all going to get free stocks and I'm going to get free stocks. So I'm excited about that. Very, very good. Can't wait for that. That's very good for the stock. But also for the stock, I think, because of interest rates going up and they're going to hold up, even if we get a pause for another year, that's making Robinhood a lot of money with the interest rates. It's also making the members a lot of money. The, the markets are bullish. People re are returning. We've had capitulation of retail investors. We're now moving back into a, a bullish stance. We have been since November. But those, those, those that got put out of the market are moving back in. And uh, we've got the new. We got the news. I think coming out about the credit card. Uh, I can't wait for that. I already use Robinhood as my bank. Um, I earn uh, four point seven nine, whatever it is, percent, uh, four point nine percent uh, APY on my on my money as it is. Uh, and I'm looking for. I've got the cash card, but I want the credit card. I want to be able to buy, pay my bills with my Robinhood bank account, if you like. 
use it as in that term, and earn and, and earn points. However, they're going to do it with free shares or money or whatever they're going to do. Very excited about all of that. So, I think tonight is going to be a very exciting night for Robinhood. My prediction for the stock price. You've waited long enough. Uh, my 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 um projection tonight tonight in the earnings if it's if we get the bullish news we could be at twenty dollars tonight in the earnings that's a huge upswing from where we are now but I could see it long term over the next year or so 12 months two years 50 60 dollars somewhere in that region um I like it I'm holding it. What do you think? If you want to join me for the earnings, click up there. That will take you to the earnings. And if you go over to here, that I'll put the earnings video just in there as well. So you can find it that way. And down here, more related videos I think you might find interesting in relationship to Robin Hood. Have a great day. Join me for the earnings. As always, take care of yourselves and each other.